I have nearly 10,000 recordings amassed in these last three years. Uh, so I have almost every species in Ireland recorded now, bar three. Um, and I... Like, I've, I've had to get a new laptop because my laptop just isn't working anymore. There's just so much on it. <laughs> it's unbelievable, really. There's, a, there's another species called common white throat. It's a small, it's a very small migratory bird. So in the summer, it breeds in Ireland, but in the winter, it migrates back down through, in, in autumn, it will migrate back down through the Mediterranean and it will winter in Senegal, typically. And these are astounding, I mean, unbelievable mimics. So they soak up everything. And what I did is, I started to record these when they just arrived back in the breeding territories in Ireland, because I wanted to know were they mimicking species from the Mediterranean or even Africa. Yeah. And it happens so fast, they fly up and they sing in the air, and it's about 70, 70 to 80% mimicry of other species back to back. It's like a, it's like a manic jazz, yeah, yeah. jazz musician, you yeah, know? Yeah. So what you have to do is record it, bring it back to the desk and, and, and break it down piece by piece. And I started picking out all the species. And Alva, Alva would come in and she'd find me with my eyes popping out of my head at two in the morning. She says, what are you doing? I said, I'm learning the bird calls of Senegal. <laughs> that's, that's incredible. So after some time, I realized that uh, it was mimicking a species called white-throated beater, which only occurs south of the Sahara. And I was hearing this in Cork. So this bird, it's singing its, its life story, where it's been, stamps on a passport, you know? So there's, yeah, so, much, there's so much information there yeah. for you, for us to tap into, if we're willing to listen and willing to, to dig. It's just, it's astounding, honestly.